good morning good afternoon and good evening to you my wonderful listeners viewers from across the globe thank you so much for your support and always been there please quickly i would like to enjoy, encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support Suspended and replaced Deputy Commissioner of Police Abba Kiari has changed the statement he posted on his Facebook page last Thursday, in which he said he only assisted the self-confessed fraud star Ramon Olorunwa Abbas, alias Hush Poppy, to get native clothes and caps worth 300,000 naira. Hush Poppy, who pleaded guilty to various charges, including money laundering, wire fraud, and felony, had said he used Kiari, the suspect, suspended leader of the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team, to jail a fellow fraudster, Kelly Chibuzo Vincent, after both were locked in a dispute presumably over how to share a $1.1 million loot received from a Qatari business person. Vincent subsequently contacted the victim and informed them that they were being scammed by a syndicate involving him and Abbas, a U.S. court document read. The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation had also alleged that Hush Poppy gave 8 million naira, approximately 20,600 U.S. dollars to Kiari as a bribe for the arrest and detention of a co-conspirator, Vincent. Reacting in a Facebook post on Thursday, Kiari said he only assisted Hush Poppy to get native clothes and caps worth 300,000 naira. The police boss, however, admitted arresting Vincent, but claimed he was released on bail to go and was not taken to any jail. But in another twist on Tuesday evening, Sahara reporters observed that the suspended police chief had changed the statement he initially put on his Facebook page, editing out some parts, including the part where he admitted getting clothes and caps for the suspected international fraud star. He edited, his edited post reads in full, Friends, Abbas, who we later came to know as Hush Poppy, called our office about January 2020 that someone in Nigeria seriously threatened to kill his family here in Nigeria, and he sent the person's phone number and pleaded, we take caution because before the person attacks his family. We take action, I beg your pardon. We traced and arrested the suspect, and after investigations, we discovered there wasn't an actual threat to anyone's life, and they are longtime friends who have fraud money issues between them. Hence, we did the needful and released the suspect on bail on health grounds. Nobody demanded or collected them any money from Abbas Hoshpopi. He can be interviewed publicly in the presence of the world media by the people holding him to confirm this. He also called for another case in January, in June 2020 and complained about a financial transaction with a second person whom he said his friend sent 8 million naira to and pleaded for his friend's money to be recovered. He sent transaction slips and other evidences to prove their case against the person. All this can be verified from the hush for pee since he is still in custody and it can be verified from person who collected the 8 million naira from Hush Puppy's friend, whom they complained about is alive and is in Nigeria. Generally, whatever investigation steps or tactics that is being taken, in most cases, especially on the parties in this type of case from January to June, is not for public consumption. This is the true story. For those who are celebrating that this is an indictment on us and mentioning some fictitious big money, they will be disappointed. Once again, as our hands are clean and our record of service for two decades is open for everybody to see, they will continue 
seeing us serving our fatherland and we will continue responding to all distress calls from all Nigerians. For good Nigerians who appreciate our service, please don't worry as our hands are clean and they should please not respond to those celebrating and creating many false narratives without any true evidence. We are used to, to such types of people and false newsmakers and distributors. Thank you and God bless. Meanwhile, his initial statement reads, Friends, Abbas, who we later came to know as Hush Poppy, called our office about two years ago that somebody in Nigeria seriously threatened to kill his family here in Nigeria and he sent persons. He sent the person's phone number and pleaded, we take action before the person attacks his family. We traced and arrested the suspect and after investigations, we discovered there wasn't an actual threat to anyone's life. And they are longtime friends who have money issues between them, hence we released the suspect to go on bail and he was not taken to any jail. Nobody demanded from for a kobo from Abbas Hush Puppy. Our focus was to save people's lives that were purported to have been threatened. Later, he saw some of my native clothes and caps on my social media page and he said he likes them and he was connected to the person selling the clothes and he sent about 300k directly to the person's account. The native clothes and caps, five sets, were brought to our office and he sent somebody to collect them in our office. Nobody demanded any money from Abbas Hoshpopi and nobody collected any money from him. We responded to a distress call he made on threat to his family and released the suspect when we discovered there was no life threat from the suspect. This is the true story. Vincent is alive. He can be contacted. For those who, were, who are celebrating that this is an indictment on us and mentioning some fictitious big money, they will be disappointed once again as our hands are clean and our records, for serv records of service for two decades is open for everybody to see. They will continue seeing us serving our fatherland and we will continue responding to all distress calls from all Nigerians provided they are life-threatening. For good Nigerians who appreciate our service, please don't worry as our hands are clean and they should please not respond to those celebrating and creating many false narratives without any evidence. We are used to such types of people and false newsmakers and distributors. Thank you all and God bless Nigeria. That was, though that is the his initial story compared to the first one which he has edited. Now, the police service commission on Sunday announced that it had suspended Kiari. This was disclosed in a statement issued by the spokesperson for the commission, Ike Chukwani. Abba Kiari's suspension took effect from Saturday, July the 31st, 2021 and would subsist pending the outcome of the investigation in respect of his indictment by the Federal Bureau of Investigation of the United States. The Commission has also directed Inspector General of Police to furnish it with information on further development on the matter for necessary further actions, the statement reads. So guys, what are your thoughts? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.